Pastas and today we're going to be interviewing with Katie Fiscal from El Burrito Loco Mexican Restaurant. Hey, that's what's up. Now, would you like to share about where we're at right now? Uh, we're in Linwood, California. This is our restaurant, El Burrito Loco. We opened up about eight months ago now. Brand new. No, oh, and what was the inspiration for starting this? My mom just loves cooking. My mom loves cooking and, um, you know, it was just, more than anything, it was like, just out of the blue. We just decided to go in for it at first. Yeah. And it, it's a cool project that we've set up. Okay, y'all, so just, I'm about to ask her about the menu, but for right now, I want you guys to check out all the variety they have. There's something for everybody from children to adults. Like, it's insane the amount of food that they have, but it's delicious, it's spectacular. We came the other day, let me tell you, it's bomb authentic Mexican food that you guys need to come try. Now, about the menu, share a little tips and possibly a little bit of secrets on how the food is oh made. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Honestly, Everything that we have is just something that's common in San Diego, mm -hmm. taco shops. There's a lot of those over there. So we, we take a lot of the stuff that's regular down there. Um, we bought a lot of the new things out here that California burritos. Um, we brought the chile relleno burrito out here. Um, and then, you know, we have, a, we have a few things that's not common out here. So uh, another good thing is that our dishes are big. Yeah. We give out big dishes. <laughs> And everyone, you know, with the, even the tacos, they're like, oh, give me like six. And I'm like, oh, you know, they're not the small things. They're, they're yeah, big, big ones. Ones. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> let me get like three. But it, it's funny. It's cool. Um, the, the menu's pretty, pretty good. Sure is. <laughs> what makes you guys different from everybody else? In general, from Mexican restaurants, local Mexican restaurants. I out here, more than anything, I think it's just the fact that we have like the... A lot of people are saying like Baja style, mm -hmm. um, and my mom, my mom just likes to bring in a lot of freshness. You know, she tries to keep uh, keep the food as fresh as possible, yeah, and that's one of the things that a lot of uh, I think a lot of people like, and that's why a lot of people have been coming back. Yes, since, uh, it has a very good sense of culture, you know, and like it's run by a family, so you come in and you just feel the positive, comforting vibe. Yeah. Now, starting as a family business, obviously, you guys are on. Um, two different generations, two different lifestyles. What was that like? How, um, not particularly giving it up, your own personal life, but pursuing something outside of what you never thought would be before. Oh my goodness! Like I tell you, it's it's a roller coaster. <laughs> I tell my mom, I'm like, you know, I feel happy that I'm able to finally live out her dream and help her out carry that out. And then there's times where I'm like, oh my god, I feel like it's too much. I feel like I can't handle it, but I'm like, I don't want to give it up. And it is a roller coaster, but like I tell you, you just gotta look up. You just gotta keep thinking like, it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. Yeah. And with her, I've had this thing where we just, I tell her, I'm like, just look five, six months from now, five, six months from now, that's the thing that's just keeping us going right now. Yes, and how do you guys stay motivated? I mean, running a business, I could, it doesn't look easy, man, what you guys are doing, it's food is delicious, what keeps y'all motivated? I, I do it to just, to make her happy, make my siblings happy more than anything that's always been something for me to try to make it, uh, things easier for her you know with helping out my siblings because for a while it was she was a single mother with me and then my sister um, and then now you know we have the support of my stepdad my stepdad has been a huge help here too so I I'm just happy to keep it like very family um, oriented. oriented yeah very big heart love yeah. <laughs> and then outside of um, being a restaurant, what did, what did you want to do before? Uh, cosmetology. Cosmetology? Yes. Sure, uh, what about that? I, after high school, I wanted to do all of that, but I ended up moving out here to LA shortly, so I put that to the side, <laughs> and I was just focused on working. Um, Hustling. So once, my mom said that she's like, once you make money, like when you're young, you, all you think is like, okay, like it, it's an easy flow, uh -huh. and you put uh, school to the side. But I'm telling her like, once it picks up a good uh, pace, uh -huh. I want to go back back to school. You know, I want to do it. I don't want to just leave it halfway. Yeah. So you see yourself opening up a salon of some sort? What area of cosmetology are you um, into? I don't think I would just fully go for a salon because I like doing this, mm -hmm. but I would definitely like pick it up as like side hustle definitely. That's <laughs> something extra, yeah. I'll hit you up and be like, hmm, when do you get 
it. I'm cute. Because there's always, there's always going to be business for it, you know? Yes. There's always going to be someone who likes the way you do things. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm just looking for forward. I'm like, five more months, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. And what's the kitchen life like? Always it's, having to cook. It's cool. It's stressful at times, like when it gets super crowded. Yeah. But um, I'm finally managing, like, with my mom, finally getting along yeah. easily and, and to work smoothly. Because at first we were like jumping around, just hectic. We couldn't get it, like understand each other and everything. But now I'm like, it's gotten a lot easier along the month. Yeah, and the heat must be stressful too. Yeah. <laughs> the first weekend after it had the video come out um, on TV, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. We were non-stop. We didn't, we didn't get to eat till probably like 6 o'clock. Oh. Yeah, we were just busy all day. But it, it was great. It's great because we get to make like memories. Mm -hmm. And you know, like you get to look back and remember like two months ago. We're like, oh, remember when this happened and we laughed about it. Oh, so I'm like, so it, it's sweet. cool. I like it. Mother-daughter relationship was the best memory that you guys had either building this up or through the hardships and creation of this or till now. But any memories, any good memories? Um, I think it's definitely getting complimented All the, when, when people come in, they're like, oh, you guys are doing great, like keep it pushing. That's very, very great to get the motivation. And I think that's just in general with anyone, hearing that from anyone, it's, it's great. Because it just gives you, a, yeah, yes. gives you faith. Yeah, it keeps you going. That's so sweet. And any messages to the hustlers out there? Um, just, you know, keep it going, keep faith. It, it always gets better. You just got to keep hustling. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> and any lessons being um, a side co-owner for a restaurant, what, any lessons you learned building it up to now? Uh, plan out. Be plan very out. good at planning because <laughs> it'll get to you if you don't like set like um, reminders or like a calendar, oh, time a management. list. Yes, you gotta be very good oh. at managing time, managing things you gotta do. I'm not good at that personally. Oh my goodness, <laughs> me either. It's, it's been hard, but I'm like little by little. We got this. Yeah, you, got, you just gotta <laughs> practice. Of course, practice makes perfect. Eh? Yeah. That's what you guys are doing. Yeah. Delicious food over here. And any last messages to the youth? Um, just keep going, keep it pushing. You know, we all gotta make it, yeah. Till then, folks, keep it pushing, keep hustling, be kind, support each other, and then your ads and socials where people can find you and the restaurant. Uh, El Burrito Loco, Linwood, CA on Instagram. Hi to hear, folks. Thank be kind, you guys. support you. Thank you, dude. <laughs> keep hustling. <laughs>